Once upon a time, there was a world full of beauty and life, and what made the world beautiful was that although it was so vast and diverse, everything in it managed to coexist. There was a kind of magic to it all. Everything was at balance with everything else. But then evolved creatures known as humans. In the beginning, they coexisted with their world, but over time, their greed grew, and they began to take control of the world. They began to think of themselves as greater than the rest. They began to destroy the animals and choke the air, make rivers run black, and bring forests to their knees. And then they began to seek control of one another. From this came many evils. Slavery, genocide, poverty, prejudice. Today, we live in a world where even breathing comes with a price. Our perfect world of coexistence was left in shambles. We've trapped ourselves in a cycle that won't be broken until we stop living for ourselves and start recognizing the light in others as our own. But our story also has heroes, eight of them, called the Millennium Development Goals. Each of them has a purpose, a power. With them, we can eradicate poverty, educate children, combat disease, reduce child mortality, promote maternal health, create gender equality, and save the environment we've destroyed. Most importantly, we can create a partnership that breaks the man-made boundaries of race and gender and belief and culture, a universal partnership that will allow all seven billion of us to work together for positive change. Humans have been the world's bane for too long, but we can also be its hope. I want to see a world where all seven billion of us can coexist and realize that we are all fundamentally the same. I want to see a world where racism, sexism, and hatred are things we read about and wonder about in books, not witness. I want to see a world where the word war is reviled as much as the word slavery. And it all begins with small acts of kindness, with positive energy, with smiling at strangers and believing in one another. It begins with destroying the affluenza we live with and working together in unity, not as black or white or Hindu or Muslim or male or female or liberal or conservative. It begins with solidarity.